So when we take this bread, I want us to understand that we are celebrating a victory, a deliverance, a holy emancipation from sin and death and the grave. Sin is no longer power over us. We have a new master, our Lord Jesus. And so when he took that bread, he gave thanks. Thank you, Lord. And he gave it to his disciples and said, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Lord Jesus, as we remember you, we are in awe. <laughs> Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Saved a wretch like me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your grace for us. We celebrate this with humble gratitude, knowing that you died on our behalf that we should no longer live for ourselves, but for you who died and rose again on our behalf. So Lord, as we celebrate this, may it be a devotion, a commitment to saying, Lord, we want to walk with you and love you. It's amazing when you think about it, that we celebrate an instrument of execution, the cross. And the reason Jesus said, if anyone wants to come after me, he must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me, is because there is no greater way to live than you surrender all to him and say, I'm yours. My life is yours. My time is yours. My resources are yours. My relationships are yours. It's all yours. That is what we celebrate when we celebrate communion is a, is a fresh surrender. And that's why we do it every month because we need to surrender afresh over and over. We need to ask him to fill us again over and over. This cup, I never tire of celebrating because I always am reminded of that 20-year-old kid who was wayward and living a sinful life. And God got a hold of me and changed me. When I understood that he loved me, he died for me, and I could be forgiven. Wow, I could be forgiven. You didn't know me for my first 20 years. It's amazing grace that we celebrate in this cup. And Jesus said, this cup is a new covenant in my blood. As often as you partake of it, do it in remembrance of me. Lord Jesus, we remember and we declare that you died for us until you come again. We declare Christ and you crucified, risen from the dead, returning in glory. And Lord, until that day, may we live lives worthy of you. May we live lives that honor you. Fill us afresh now with your Holy Spirit, Lord. Thank you that communion is a holy time of remembrance. It is a celebration of victory and deliverance. And so now we ask you to fill us with the joy of salvation. Renew our minds with love for people and love for you. Cause us to walk with peace and tranquility in our hearts, knowing that you are in control. Father, your perfect love casts out all fear. So we ask you to fill us afresh with you, with your character, with your spirit, with your love and grace. For your glory we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.